oh my god can you even see me oh yes you can hi guys i am back ready for a quick no this is not gonna be quick oh what happened to my second camera dang it all right when you guys pop on say hello i'm not exactly sure what happened to this but let's check it out so you guys chose what we were going to do today and we are going to do um, some canvas with some scrapbooking pieces and this one might be a long one but I think it's totally going to be awesome. Awesome sauce. I don't know what the heck is happening with my stuff guys. I really don't know. I had it totally ready. I don't see this source. No I don't. You're okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Say hello. How's everyone doing? Dang it. I love Switcher, but then I don't. It's it's nice, and then it's not. I might have to. Okay, there we go. iPad is taking control. Every time I let my kids play with my stuff, my cell phones and my iPads, they just break it all. Break it all. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'm going to put my little face here so you guys can see me. I'm going to swap it over and I'm going to read comments now. Sorry, guys. You know me with my technical difficulties. I always pray to the technical gods that it will work for me today. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Hey, Summer, Cindy, Grace, Jackie, Jordan, Septima, Jeannie, and Brenda. Hey, Kylie. I just got off the phone with her. Hey, Randy, Amy, Angela. Hey, Randy again. So exciting. I had someone ask me. What did you have someone ask you? Oh, to do a canvas for them. Oh, how cool. So I'm not going to lie, guys. Hey, Carly. Sorry, just text you back. Girl, it took me like five hours to text you back. It's okay. It'd be great if I could finish making masks. Well, hopefully I can help. Oh, my gosh. My camera literally just like fell over. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh. I swear I'm not like you can see me, but if I hang out down here. Woo, I'm so excited, guys. So can you see this? All right. So I had to test it out because honestly, you guys know that I always do things like just whatever. Let me try it. Let's see how it works. And I don't know anything about anything. I did do a little research about this one so that I didn't look like a total, like I didn't know what I was doing. But I found some cool tips. All right. So we're pretty much at 50. So let's go ahead and throw some names in. You made it to top fan. Hey, Hope. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Lori. Awesome. Randy. That's my girl. So do you see the, see this? That's so cool. So that's what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do right now. This is what we have. So I just made a vintage look. Then we're gonna mod podge it on this thing and then we're gonna chalk on it. I'm so excited, guys. Um, so excited. Thank you, Stephanie, I'm excited too. Hey, Krista. All right, guys, so if you shared, just comment below, Jordan T. Hey, Patricia, uh, oh, excuse me. My gosh, that went fast. Krista W. Girl, we love the realness. I'm so glad because, geez Louise, I could not be organized. I watch some other people sometimes, Stephanie B, to try to see their ideas. And I'm like, oh my God, how do you like know where everything is? That's so weird. Just kidding. Cindy M. Yay, awesome, Lori. You guys, I am so happy and thankful for you guys and your patience. Grace F., because everything is taking, um, what, Tanya? No, it's back. Don't tell me that. It's got to be back in stock. It's back in stock. Don't tell me that, girlfriend. All right. Angela S. Can't wait to get the octopus. Yes. Hey, let me know when you get it, please. Because I just want to make sure, since it's not something that's coming from me, I just want to make sure that you do get it. Kathy W. I'm sorry if I missed you guys, okay? It is going super fast. Oh, oh, it is out of stock. Damn it. Dang it. Anita Etch. I love you, but haven't been brave enough to try it. Oh my gosh, girl, why not? Okay, so that, um, Jackie Clark, I think I got you. Hope L. Oh, you guys, really, really, really quick. Because you guys are amazing and you reminded me. Let me turn on my... Um, 
what is it called? Captions. So I found out how to do it. Unfortunately, I thought that they were doing it automatically. And I guess they stopped doing it automatically. I'm not exactly sure. So Dakota wants in. Let me let her in really quick. I got the rest of my inks today. Yay. Hi, Jacinda. Awesome. So thank you guys. As I was saying, thank you guys so much for being patient because shipping is taking forever in a day. I'm sure you guys are aware of this if you're ordering anything from anywhere. Um, but it really is taking a long time. So I'm just grateful that you guys are patient with me because if it's taking a long time for you to get for for you to get your stuff, it's because it's taking a long time for me to get the stuff. Um, it's <clears throat> it sucks, but I'm just grateful that they are shipping right now. Yay! Awesome. Did I order the octopus from you? Uh, I'm not sure. Did you? I have no idea. Um, I just posted it, and I know two people got it because I only had two. But I'm not sure. I'm trying to get the closed captions on really quick. I know you can do it when you're no longer live. But I could not seem to find. There we go. Yay! I'm so. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yes. I When they first came out with the Fiji incentive, I was like, hell yeah. I am going to go to Fiji. Because for one, I've never been. And for two, I know I'm going to need a vacation by then. Um, so I was like, I'm going and they're giving the option for, see, and it's not letting me add the, it's, le it lets me do after the video. It let me add, oh, that's so, that sucks. All right. I don't know guys. It let me do it after, but for some reason it's not letting me do it now. I think my, um, my tablet is getting a little heavy for this stand. So I need to tighten it up a bit. So you guys might just have to stare at like my chest. <laughs> Yay! Linda, how exciting. Oh my God, how annoying. All right, whatever. You can see me. Um, how are you showing two cameras? I am using Switcher Studio. Switcher Studio. Okay. Um, yes, thank you guys. Okay, I'll throw some more names in here in just a bit, but let's get started because I do think this is going to be a long one, okay? Um, I'm going to explain to you what we're doing. I, of course, obviously you don't, like, you know that, like, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I wanted the board and base two for seven. Yes, Judy. So if you guys commented on anything that I have up for grabs, I will work on it towards the evening, okay? I post stuff and then I'm like, all right, I'll come back to it. And I kind of give you guys some time and yeah. All right. So we're gonna use this 18 by 18 canvas. I used Joanne's curbside pickup for the first time ever. And it was amazing. Normally, guys, I sand these. I really don't see any reason for sanding this right now. So we're not going to sand it, okay? We're not even going to mess with it. Because we're going to put our scrapbook paper, let me show you real quick, on here. And it's going to really serve as like a primer, okay? So this is what it looks like. Regular old scrapbook paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby in the little scrapbooking section. I've never been in that section. I didn't even know what you do with it. But I was there to the other day and I was like, well, that goes perfect with this transfer. And I'm so sorry that it is out of stock. <laughs> I usually check beforehand, but you guys know that I will honor whatever deal I'm going to give you on this and you can get it at any time. Well, as soon as it comes back. Okay. So this was 59 cents and I bought four because I wanted them to fit on this 18 by 18 um, canvas. Okay. So... I do recommend, let me see, okay. I do recommend that you at least make sure, well, if you can read the words, if you're gonna use, keep in mind you don't have to use scrapbooking paper, you can pull this out from vintage books, old books that you have around the house and you just wanna give you that look, you can do that too, okay? It doesn't have to be bought from the store. Hi, Carol, it doesn't have to be bought from the store, okay? Um, I want to say that you should make sure that you can read the wording and you know that it's it goes with what you're talking about. I cannot read this, and I'm pretty sure you guys can't either. Hey, Don. So I'm just going to go with it. So I did this one. This is what we're going for, okay? Um, the reason why I only did some of it, hey, Becky, is because, and this is backwards. I used to, you know that music class that you had to have in like one of those grades? I used to do music. It's just so weird because, let me show you why. So the music notes are the right direction, right? Unless I'm tripping. And the words are upside down. Are they not? Or am I totally 
like losing my mind? Or is it this way? Because that to me looks upside down, but the wording looks right. Maybe it's meant to be like that. What do you guys think? Let me know if you know. Am I scrapbooking peeps in here? Or if you know what the heck this is. But I want to say this is the right way, okay? This is why I only did certain corners. Because I want these to fit in together. Hey, Adriana. I want these to fit in together. Yay, welcome. Yes, you will get it soon, girlfriend. Okay, so they actually blend in together. And that's what I want. I want it to go together. No, you have it around the right way now. Hey, Belinda. So this is the right way. You have so much cardstock. Does it have designs on it or is it just regular old? I don't know what this is. It's upside down. Okay, cool. Originally I had done it like this. So let me know because I need to know. <laughs> Somebody please tell me because I need to know in order <laughs> to keep this going. Yes, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know there's a delay, guys, so let's do this. Do I have it the right way now? <laughs> I'm just so excited to be live with you guys. I'm so excited because my team is like kicking ass for one. Let me fix this. Sorry, guys. I'd rather you not stare at my chest all day. Oh, there we go. Do I have it the right way now? The handwriting is the right way. So this is the right way. The balls at the bottom? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So the balls are supposed to be on the bottom, so the handwriting is upside down. Look. I don't know, but so we've confirmed that the balls go on the bottom. That's what I thought from way back in the day. Oh my gosh, but you guys are saying I have it right over here. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Okay, however I do it, I'm going to make sure it stays the same, okay? So I'm going to put, it's so weird because some of the balls are here on the bottom and then they're up here. I don't know. Sure is the notes are an octave higher. I took years of band and the balls are at the bottom. Hey, Angela. So I guess maybe this is just like all kinds of stuff. Wouldn't you want to read handwriting? Yeah, right? But the balls are supposed to be at the bottom. Maybe it was printed wrong. Okay, I don't know guys, but I just needed to go in a certain way. So I'm gonna do it this way with the music notes, right? Cause I feel like, um, so I'm not the only one, right? That thinks this is kind of weird. Cause I, I think I'm going crazy, but like I think that there's something weird. Um, it's almost like, I don't know, but I'm gonna put, however I do it, to me, the music notes need to be upright. That's what I see first rather than, um, yeah, Carly. So I had originally put it up here and then I started looking at it more and I'm like, well, what the heck did I do? So I'm going to go ahead and put it like this so that the music notes right off the bat. Um, that's a good idea, Chrissy, but I, I, I don't think I will because I don't think I like that. <laughs> I don't want to make it look like that. Okay. So we know that this one is going to be over here on the bottom. And I'm going to show you how I got this look. Some of you guys might already be, um, balls go both ways. Ah, so then I'm going to put it like this. All right. I'm going to put it like this then, whatever. Okay. So let me show you how I got this. I'm going to tear this other part. Let me make sure though, because I do want it to align at some point. And honestly, you don't have to make it align. If you want to make it like all kinds of crazy and whatever, do it. Do it. Go for it, girlfriend. Do whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna tear this a little bit. This is what I learned today that I'm gonna share with you guys. Put some upright and some upside down. All right, so I'm just tearing it, guys. Um, obviously, I don't wanna tear too much because I still wanna use it here on the surface. Um, you can tear it a lot if you wanna use it a lot, if you wanna tear it a lot, but I just wanted a slight tear. I don't know why I can't just tear it in one stupid little, there we go. You want to make it look vintage, right? We're getting that vintage old look because I don't want the flat look. So this is what I'm going to show you how I got this. Let me move my canvas out of the way. I would make it where the words are facing right. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll see. 
I don't know what we're going to do. Now I'm going to tear this side. And we could probably do it all around, but I wanted it to look like one big picture. Unless we do it all around. I don't know. I wanted you guys, I was going to, yeah, I heard you could burn it, but I don't want to get, I don't want to be burning stuff live because I, who knows what would happen. I would probably get super famous, but I really don't want that. I don't want to get famous from the girl, the talk to her girl that burned her house down while trying to do crafting. So, all right. So there we have that, right? So I just tore it a little bit. I'm going to bring out these other pieces. But I, I did hear you could burn it. I'm just going to do it however, guys. Let's do it. Because we spent way too much time talking about that. And I know it looks white. It's going to look white. Because that is the bottom of the paper. The paper is actually white. Ooh. All right. So we've got that. I forgot to share real quick. Hold on. Thanks, Michelle. But yeah, I don't want to burn it. I'll probably hurt myself and others. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. But this one's actually like extra, extra, extra. So I might, I might have to cut some of this. All right, so we've got it super vintagey, right? There's some parts there. I only bought four sheets. Ink the edges. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We are going to ink the edges. So we've got this here, we've got this here. I'm trying to make sure I get all the sides and stuff. Just read online that upside down notes are sometimes used in piano music. Ah, so we learned something new. So it's, all right, so I'm gonna keep it the way I had it. I'm gonna keep it with the words right. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. How do, Mi, Mika, Michaela, Michaela, Mika, how do you say your name? I'm so sorry. Michelle. Sorry guys, I'm a little goofy today, I don't know. I've just been so excited because like, <laughs> it's just been so exciting. Um, if you guys have been on the fence, it is time to, and you wanna learn more, we are gonna do an opportunity call this Saturday. Opportunity live, okay? It's really just a time um, for you to pop on, ask questions and do all that good stuff so that you can see if you want to do this too. One time I had a project made with the gold and it just crumbled my paper and then poured. Yes. So that's actually another way that I saw it too. Hi, Laura. Um, so there's lots of different ways to make it vintage, but if you notice guys, this already looks vintage. I just didn't want those flat lines. Um, Hobby Lobby has like a ton of scrapbooking paper. So they even have really cool paper that looks like wood, which I think would make an amazing background for anything. Like you don't have to make it like, um, like you don't have to do any of this to it. It looks perfect. And you can add like a finished piece to it or something. I really like it, it's awesome. I'm gonna start trying to do more stuff with it. Okay, so now we're going to ink the edges as Miss Paula suggested. I'm going to get um, my envelope that I was using because the ink is wet, obviously. So you don't want to get it on everything. Did I throw it out? All right. Oh, more details about the trip. Um, so you know how it is when you join companies, they always offer free incentive trips. I've always seen like my direct sales friends going like on, well, not all of them. Usually it's people that I've never talked to before. I'm going to use Vintage Photo Distress Ink. This you can also get at the craft store. You can use a brush or you can simply just use it like this, which is how I'm gonna do it today. Um, yeah, so every company offers a trip. When I joined the first trip I missed by $300 and I didn't, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So that was my fault for real. Oh, you know what? I forgot I was going to sand it first. That's okay. I'll sand it right now. Um, the first trip I missed by $300, which was a cruise that everybody went on right before coronavirus shut down the world, you know? 
so I probably wouldn't have gone anyways. I earned a Fiji trip. I earned it a couple months ago. It just finally is official because it's official. Um, when they first announced it, what, like a year ago at Chacon? No, in June, actually, that we had until October to earn this Fiji trip. I was like, yes, I am going. Look at how cool that looks. It almost looks burned, exactly what Angela was saying. Um, yes, I've heard Tim Holtz has um, also a texturizing blade that you can use to give you the same effect. I didn't have it, so I'm just going to use this. But um, I bought this ink in a little stack at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if Tim Holtz is, is offered there or whatever, but um, see, super awesome. Now we're going to sand it because we want to give it that vintage look. We want to make it look lighter. See how this one looks a little roughed up? Actually, it doesn't really look that different, so maybe we don't have to sand it. Um, so I'm going to let it dry. You want to let it dry. But, yeah, and then they, they said that the top 44 people actually get to sleep on the on those little hurts or huts or whatever they call, they're called. I don't know the exact term. Um, and so I was like, oh, my gosh, I am going to do it. So I set a goal last June. Was it last June already? Holy crap. Yeah, last June. I set a goal last June. And, yep, I'm number nine. Because I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to sleep on those things. I've always wanted to do that. I thought it would be so cool. What will we do when we are gone on your trip? No lives. I know, right? It's going to be so awesome. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but, yeah, it's actually for eight days. So, I'm not going to lie. My husband doesn't want to go. So, yeah, because we have the little one. All right, so we're just adding that little vintage look to it, okay? Nothing crazy. We're going to let it dry because it's a little, because um, it is wet. You can make it darker if you want. I'm, I'm not going to go too hard with it, okay? It's not until next year, though, so it's not for a long time because you have until October to earn it. And the great thing is, guys, is that when I first joined, I think the requirements were maybe not as difficult but since the company is still so new um they never filled the spots for all of the 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 trips they've never had a complete trip to where everybody earned it and they filled the complete spots that they were going to take people because the company's still so new um so i was like wow that's awesome you know so they changed the requirements to make it easier for anyone to go so you don't have to be like top dog with 10,000 people underneath you like no not at all anybody could go you get more points if you rank up because obviously that's important but anybody can go so I love it looks good right I like it I like it and then we're gonna mod podge it on okay so let me put my thing on it you can also squirt some water, rub it around to get that look around a little bit more. You can, there's alcohol inks, there's all kinds of different inks, okay guys? But I'm not a pro in any of that, so we're not gonna go with that. Okay, um, I need to add some more names in here. So while we let these awesome like treasure map type papers dry, let's add some more names in if you, excuse me, if you shared. When do you go? It's March 1st through the 9th next year. So it's still a good ways away. It's something to really look forward to though. And maybe I can start like dieting or something. My son and his wife went to Fiji. He said that it was so awesome and so beautiful. I can't even imagine, girlfriend. I am not gonna lie guys, I'm terrified of open water. Terrified. Terrified. I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm scared of. Leslie E, Judy R. Brenda L. There's a lot of things that I'm scared of, but um, Chris S. Yay! Thank you, Darlene. I'm super excited for this one. I think it's going to be an awesome one. Jazz C. Carol R. Oh, I think I got... Okay, guys, if I did get your name already, just make sure that you leave it and let some other people get in, okay? Ju, I got you in. Laura S. I shared, then got thrown off, so I don't know if you saw me. I think I did, but I'm not sure if I put it in. Darlene W. 
Pat D. Hopefully Corona will be over and things will be back to normal by then. Hopefully. Stephanie B. But I think it's just one of those things that's going to be around forever, you know. Uh, but yeah. Adriana M. Woo -woo. All right. So. If I get any more, I'll add you guys in here. I'm trying to make sure that I am doing all the things. The water there, you can see the bottom. So no, no, girl, I'm still scared. I went, I went to Cancun a couple of times after high school. Lori S. Yeah, I have the card one, but I need to get the book one. So I went to Becky R. Cancun. My son honeymoon in Fiji. One of those. Oh my God! And then how was it? Like, can you hear stuff at night, or like, is it real weird? I don't know. Yes, Drew, I did get you. Amy got you. That is so cool. Um, I went snorkeling um, in Cancun, and I couldn't even look at the fish because I was so freaking terrified, you guys. I was like, oh, my God, I can't. Like, I'm not even joking. And they were like, hey, like, you're floating away. And because I was just terrified. I don't know what it is, but I'm terrified. My mom used to... Um, she used to swim in Guam, like she was a swimmer and all that good stuff, but no, no way, no way. Okay, so let's get this ready because we are going to need it to do some, we're going to need some dry time in here. So up and I'm just going to make sure the words are right. That's it. Who writes like that though? Um, yes, and I did. How is your weather? My weather is hot and a little breezy i don't go into water either i'm scared too yeah i know i'm scared that something is going to touch my feet or like come up underneath me thank you miss courtney and got a good start on your license so you can fly like fly a plane courtney e you deserve that trip for your oh thank you so just so you guys know because i know you're hanging out with me here um, not all of you guys are designers. Some of you are just my, my wonderful, amazing customers. I may not be live as often, but I'm still here to support you and do all that good stuff. But I do have to make sure that my team is taken care of. So, you know, all right. So we want to put this on here. I'm going to fix this because I want it to look a little bit more vintage. Gold star, not good star. Oh. Yeah, Jeannie, so me too. I used to think that if you took a shower in the bathtub, somehow like the sharks could get in. I'm gonna move this up so you guys can see more of it. Jeez, it's stuck. That's, hi, sorry. Somehow the sharks could get in and like um, eat you in your bathtub. I'm not even joking, like that's how much of a little scaredy cat I am. I act all tough and I'm not a tough at all. That's okay, Kylie. Have a good day. But yeah, I know exactly what you mean. All right. So I might overlap it just so I don't have to do anything else to it. But so super cool. I'm going to change this up right here. Oh, no. When you fly for your trip, the gold star will help you get through TSA. What is the gold star? Okay. So I took this off, but I think it's all right just do it like this and it's not going to completely cover the canvas but that's okay we can even um add some ink to this canvas here to see if it um to add it but I'm going to show you what it's going to look like and you guys let me know do we need to do we need to um ink the sides to get it that rough color to the dark color I wish I would show you guys a little bit better Sorry, I'm messing with it a little bit to see if I can get it tighter. All right, what do you guys think? Does that look good like that or ink the sides too? If I ink the sides, we can just put either a different color or the same vintage color. Or we can just do it like this and mod podge it on there like that. I'm done. It's a requirement now. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna have to write that down. Gold star. Maybe stain the canvas. Okay. Actually, should we do our wax? The amazing wax that we did the other day? Let's do it. We're gonna wax just the sides. This Annie Sloan wax. Ink the canvas. 
Oh, that's true, huh? Hmm. All right, well, let's try the wax because the wax is gonna be about the same. Well, it looks like you had it framed. Oh, that's a good idea too. Oh, that's so hard. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of color because I think it is super bright white versus the the stain or the ink color. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of wax on here. It's on your license when you submit all proper information. Oh, wow. I had no idea. I'm so glad. My, me and my husband don't fly, so we don't do anything right now. But I'll check into that. Thank you. You guys are so awesome. What would I do without you? Literally. What would I do? So I'm going to add a little bit of this. This amazing wax. And you can use a smaller, um, a smaller canvas so that you don't have white space. That one that I'm using, this one that I'm using in particular is 18 by 18. The reason why I did it is so that it fits the transfer perfectly, but there's still some extra space. But you could probably do a 16 by 16 if they even make that or even smaller, but you just want to make sure that you have enough space for your wording. The rest of the extra space is no big deal, but you can pay extra to be pre-checked. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm not going to lie, guys. There's a good chance that we may not go. Kind of sad, but breaks my heart a little bit. It's okay. It's cool. I'll just go on my way home. You want to make sure you get the sides in here because they are white, bright white. Um, also, I'm going to start auctioning off some of these pieces for Watts of Love so you guys can purchase them, donate to Watts of Love, and you will get these for free. I just haven't decided when and where. You might not be as crazy, but I love you're crazy. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel like I've just gotten so comfortable, really, guys. Um, I watched some of my first lives from way back when, and I was like, oh my goodness, how do people watch me? But I really just feel like this has just made me a whole, a whole nother person. All right. So I think that's good. I'm not worried about like the way it looks because we're going to munch pop over it. Did I get the sides? Oh. <sighs> Well, yeah, I'm hoping to take my husband, but he doesn't want to leave the little one. I ordered this wax yesterday on Amazon with some others in paint. Ooh, I'm awesome. Let me know how the rest of the stuff works out for you because um, I've never tried it. Just this one. I, I want to go. I might cry if I don't go. All right. So we did that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge over it. I'm, I'm going to be dangerous. And I'm not going to wait for it to dry. Because if it smears it around, that's, that's totally fine. Great. No, you must go. It's a trip that you will never do. Oh, I know. That's what I keep telling him. Hey, Lisa. Have you done your live already? Thank you guys for sharing. Who did I miss? Paula. Awesome. Hey, guys. So if you're just now popping in, in just a little bit, I um, will add some more names in. We are doing a little canvas art i guess we can say we are using canvas with some scrapbooking paper and then we're gonna do a little design over it back to you too hey oh you guys are talking to each other awesome awesome i just cooked dinner and i'm eating awesome what are you eating for dinner we had steak fajitas steak fajitas i'm not gonna lie guys <laughs> They were like store-bought frozen. Thank you, Miss Paula. As soon as we get to 100, we'll throw some more names in here. I'm opening this. I did get a new one. Um, I'm not too worried about the color. I got satin because, oh, awesome. How did it go, Lisa? Because if you have been to the craft store lately, they're like completely sold out of everything. Like crafters are going crazy right now with their stuff. Thank you, Miss Melissa. All right. So Mod Podge, you guys I'm sure have used it. If not, it's like a glue that goes on like glue and it dries. Now we're going to Mod Podge this because it is going to glue these, um, the papers on, okay? So you're gonna see really nothing, okay? It's gonna be like, well, what are you doing? 
but we're just gluing it on. It will also give it a nice finish. So like if you get a gloss one, this is satin, which I think has a small gloss to it. Um, I'm not very big on glossy stuff, but for something like this, I would think you might want it to be glossy. Damn brush. Just come up with your ideas. Please. No, no. So organic homemade purple russet potatoes with garlic and red onions, also eggs on top. Wow, that sounds fancy. Um, no, so actually we have so many amazing designers that share their ideas. I know my brush is like being crazy right now, but we're just going to go over it. We're going to cover it. I'm so sorry, Paula. I tried to get those, um, those captions fixed and it only lets me do it after the fact. Okay. So I'm going to put this here because I want it to glue on. We're also going to put another layer, okay? Awesome. Thank you, Miss Lisa. So I think I might need to move it over. You can still move it. It's still going to be wet. We need it to dry, all that good stuff. No, I don't get all these ideas. Heck no. There's no way I could get all these ideas just from my little mind. Um, they, we have so many designers, and I was just talking about this in my team training there are so many designers that love to share their ideas and you just, you go, go with those. Like they share their ideas and you kind of learn that way and you put your own little twist on it, stuff like that. So no, I do not get all my ideas from my, my brain. I actually get them from other designers because they love to share. They really do. This whole little community is just amazing. It really is. All right. how that looks and we don't want any bubbling so if you get any bubbling you just want to push it down okay it's just like glue guys so you know how when you glue stuff and it looks all weird it's because you got some bubbles in there you just got a little bit of air so push it out sorry if I'm not catching you guys right now I shredded the steak oh that sounds yummy I love I love hearing what you guys had for dinner so please tell me because I need ideas I'm so sick of the same things every week since we don't go out to eat or like we don't do pickup or delivery as much anymore or whatever, I'm like running out of ideas. Okay, so there's gloss there, but that's okay. Oh, she's yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm I. As soon as I got off live the last time we were on, and we were talking about it, I went to go look, and for some reason it just said that like I said live, and it kept showing me how to how to do it after so I was able to add it on all my other videos but I don't know why it's not working on this one and you know Facebook doesn't like to talk to you like they don't like to talk to you unless they're like telling you you did something wrong all right so let's try not to get any more bumps push out these bumps just like glue guys really it's just like glue all right so we're gonna layer this one and if you guys notice the Mod Podge on the edge looks super freaking cool let me show you I feel like this one doesn't come off enough. That's okay. So look at how it's making it look burnt. I love it. Meatloaf with creamy garlic roasted potatoes. Ooh, meatloaf. Ah, I haven't had meatloaf in a long time. Okay, we'll have to do that. Oh, I need to add some here. Sorry, guys. Totally forgot to add some here because we're overlaying these. Quiet squeegee. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Can you guys see the bubbles? I don't really think you can see them, but let's do that. Grilled pork chops, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and biscuits. Ooh, love those carbs, girl. Um, we had grilled pork chops the other day. 
is this scrapbook paper project mary so this is we are using scrapbook paper but we're still going to go ahead and chalk on it i'm just kind of giving you guys an idea for an additional background other than just a white canvas right so you can of course paint your canvas i'm using a pasta scraper here <laughs> um you can paint your canvas you can do all that good stuff or you can just do something like this no can't see them okay good so i i actually think that with the bubbles it gives it like an even more vintage look so i'm gonna put some more on the side and you guys will see how it lights up this um the edges it makes it look freaking awesome i love it i love it so far so good right guys all right looks real glossy here i'm going to go over everything so you're gonna see that gloss everywhere right now you only see it in certain areas and then of course it's drying in some areas so it might look a little weird oh we're at 100 we need to throw some more names in here so if you guys are just now popping on, we are doing a little canvas art with some scrapbooking papers, and then we're gonna do a design over it. Um, if you want to get entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is share the video, and then as soon as I'm done, and we let this dry, I will add your names into the giveaway. What kind of scraper was that? It's a pasta scraper, just kidding, it's a paste scraper. If you've ever messaged me, you know that um, autocorrect does not, like it doesn't, they don't talk about paste very often. They talk about pasta. So all of my messages come out as pasta instead of paste. Yeah, this one has a little bit of bump in it, but I think it'll be all right. It's gonna give it that vintage look too. Did you burn your edges? No. So earlier in the video, Mary, I showed you how I did this. I just cut it up. Like I tore a piece off. I have my little scrap sitting over here. And then I added dis I added ink, distressed ink. But with the Mod Podge, it's actually making it look burnt, which is really cool. It's giving, it's really highlighting the edges and I love it. All right, so I've got all this Mod Podge, Mod Podge, what a weird word. And now I'm going to add this on here. I think that's pretty good. I do want the vintage look. I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be vintage. So it is coming up a little bit in some spots, but that's all right, we'll smooth it out because we're gonna add another layer of Mod Podge on the top. So we've got it on the bottom to glue the pieces to the canvas. Now we're gonna put a layer on the top, okay? And then we're gonna let that dry and we'll throw some names here in the giveaway. So if you guys are new, um, let us know that you're new. Let us know where you're watching from, all that good stuff so we can welcome you. So I did this part already. And this is a satin color. So they have a satin color, a satin shade. They have different shades. So you can get like the matte look, all that stuff. I kind of wanted a little gloss to this. I'm just gonna go over everything because I don't know exactly what I got and what I didn't. And it looks white and then it dries. So I'm just gonna do it really quick. Mod Podge is another way that you guys can seal your finished pieces. The only thing is, is that you have to be really careful when you're painting it over it over a design because it will re-wet your paste. Hey, Christine, that's okay. Welcome from Ohio. Ooh, that's a great idea, Hope. Yeah, so these little lyrics, I just got because I saw it in the scrapbooking section, but you could even do this with a picture, guys. If you want it, welcome from London, England. That's awesome. Hey, Shailene. So if you wanted to do something like this for what's coming up, Father's Day, something similar. I'm caking on the Mod Podge, okay guys. Um, if you wanted to do something similar for Father's Day, you could do something very similar with a picture and maybe like a, that's okay girl, and maybe like um, some sayings with it or whatever, whatever you wanna do, you know? The possibilities are endless. Ontario, awesome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am from Texas. 
much that we've got people from all over. It's okay. In the beginning, I just showed you how we got the paper like this. It started off as regular scrapbook paper that I bought at the store. But you guys don't have to go buy anything. If you, I'm sure you guys have old books laying around that you can use. So you can use vintage books. Just um, do make sure that you know what's on their books. Because like if you can read it. You don't want like it to not go with what you're doing, right? So, Alabama. Oh, thanks, girl. I just I, you, so I earned it like a couple months ago, but I was like, ah, I'm gonna wait like till it's official or whatever. I still haven't gotten an official email, but I know it's official, so I put it up. I'm excited. Welcome from Kansas City. Hello from North Carolina. Welcome, guys. Welcome. All right. So you, the paper's starting to crinkle. So hopefully it doesn't give me a hard time sticking to the... And honestly, even if it does, I don't think it would look bad. Like if it's stuck up on the sides. But here's the thing. If you're going to... You have this paper? Awesome! So um, even if you're, if you're going to sell it, you want to make sure that you seal something to where like it doesn't fall off when it's hanging on their walls and stuff, you know? You never know how long it's going to be hanging there. I'm gonna start playing with this stuff way more. I have some really cool stuff coming up for you guys. Awesome sauce. My kids are having fun, can you guys hear them? They always have so much fun with my husband. <laughs> it must be boring or something. All right, so you see how you still see white? It's not dry yet, okay? So we're gonna let it dry. If you guys are new, hey Tara. West Virginia. Awesome. I'm going to put this away. You do want to clean these because that is glue on there. So you want to make sure that you clean it. I should be done with this. So I'm going to put it in some water over there. What's up from Arizona? Hey, Becky, I didn't know you were from Arizona, Florida. Okay. Let me clean my hands. Um, and if you guys are new and you did share, just comment below. I know right now it looks super glossy. So let's give it some time to dry. I will speed it up in just a bit. But it started, it looks super cool. Okay, oh look at that, look at the burnt side. Oh, I love it. I say burnt, but it's not really burnt. Okay, so if you shared, can you just comment below? If you did, um, just make sure you hang out till the end because that is when we pick the winners. Music notes, they can be both ways. It's all about the active he played in band. Oh, okay, awesome. DR, where's my... Krista from South Dakota, right? Did you learn South Dakota? Octave. Well, thank you for solving that problem. Wait, Tara P. Um, thank you for solving that problem because we were really struggling with it. Um, McK I'm going to put Mikhail. Mc I'm sorry. I put you in. Christine C. Shared from South Carolina. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Shirley H, Patty B, I shared, but not sure if I qualify. Why wouldn't you qualify, Jeanette? Where do you live or what's happening? Do you live in England? Um, unfortunately, the only people that I can ship to really, Becky, Becky Ann shared, did you write down? No, Paula L, can you please let her know that I did write down for her? Vicky and Michelle, for real? Oh, girl, <laughs> do you get that a lot? Or am I just dumb? Tanya T, you're in England. Oh my gosh, girl, I don't even know how much it would be to ship to you. Right now, Janice C, I ship to Canada. It's a little pricey. It's not even worth it with what I send you guys. It's better off you guys um, just getting a discount or ordering from my website. Melissa S., um, and Australia is a pretty penny too, but it's it's doable. I can't even imagine England. Glenda R. I got you, Miss Christy. I got you, Janet. I'm trying to get everybody in at least once, guys. Oh, okay, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Your parents totally tried to be unique, and it is unique, and it makes so much sense when you spell it out for me. Mary M. I did get you.
All right, then I'm gonna pull out my gun. Oh, that went fast. Patty, thank you, Miss Patty from Wisconsin. I lived in Kenosha for a, a short period. West Virginia, thank you guys, Miss Dawn F. So if you guys get your name in the bucket, I will pick a winner at the end of this live. We'll be done in just a little bit. Um, but you can also, where is my heat gun? But you also have a chance to win later on if you, because your names go into our monthly drawing, which is at the end of the month in my VIP group. Hold on real quick, guys, because I can't find my... I always put my stuff back, right? I am good. How are you? What the heck? That is so weird. Somebody stole it. Did you get me? I think I did. My mailman wants Shailene to attend Sun City Rehab. <laughs> is that your husband, Shailene? <laughs> That's so funny. Leave her alone. Tell her she should just sign up so that she can get the perks of ordering all that stuff and get money back. All right, sorry guys. While I'm letting this dry, let me show you what we're working on really quick. I am looking for my food gun, which believe it or not, I do leave it in the same place all the time. blows my mind that it's in my aim. What the heck happened to it? Has that ever happened to you guys? Um, yes, Carol, I did add you. Unfortunately, yes. Lots of people from West Virginia here. Oh, you guys must all know each other, right? Maybe somebody shared. Oh, I found it. Oh, and it's already plugged in. I guess it fell through the cracks in my desk. Okay. Um, all right. Sorry, guys. I know that can be frustrating to watch somebody looking for their stuff everywhere. He is always trying to ruin my fun. Yeah, I know. Mine too. He's like, oh, you always have to do a live. And then some days, yeah, so that's what I was saying. I'm going to have to go strangle my kids because somebody took it. So you can see the bumps, which is not bad. I'm not, I'm not against bumps. We're going to do our little stuff over it. It makes it look vintage. I'm totally cool with it. So let's heat it up a little bit. Yes, Miss Krista, I did get you. Yeah, what is up with kids, man? Like, can't they just get their own stuff? But yeah, that was going to be my next thing. Um, yeah, mine too, man. Did you look under the desk? Thank you, Amy. All right, so I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. I don't want all the glossiness. I want it to dry so that we can chop over it. So what I'm gonna use with this, guys, is, if you're new, we're gonna use a reusable silk screen transfer to create a design on here. I'm hoping I didn't put too much and it does dry. Yay, awesome. Oh, you don't, Alice? I'm looking for things all the time. Me too, girl. I think it's just normal, right? My husband thinks I'm unorganized. I think it's just because I have so much to do. Like, husbands, they just go to work and come home and poop. And that's it. Like, literally. That's what they spend their day. It is so vintage -y. I think maybe I did add too much Mod Podge, but I think it's still going to be great. Yeah, but your stuff is always better than theirs. That's so true, huh? I got my son an iPhone and he's like, oh, but can I get the, can I get an iPad? Oh no, can I get a Mac now? I'm like, what? No, you're looking at a phone. Like, no, well, you did miss a good chunk of it, Stephanie. <laughs> um, but you can always go back and see how we got this look. I'm not too happy with these bumps. I wonder if maybe the heat would get them out. But if you 
push on them, there's really nothing there. It's so weird. Okay, so not too much heat on your Mod Podge because it almost like re reactivates it. Another thing, guys, is you can use Mod Podge to seal your finished pieces, as I mentioned. Um, but since you're painting it, it does re-wet your paste, okay? So just keep that in mind. Don't do it too crazy. Don't use it as much as I just used for this one, okay? This is legit like vintage paper. I love it. It is exactly what I was going for. That is still drying. So anything that looks white like that is still drying. All right, let's give it enough. Let's give it a little bit of time to dry naturally. If I didn't get your name in, please comment below so we can get you in. All you have to do is share the video. And it's not completely centered, but I'm not, I, I, I like it. I think it looks really cool. And obviously every time we do this, it'll get better and better and better. Put pinhole in bubble. Oh yeah, will that help it? The same map what you do with vinyl, right? Whenever you get an air bubble, let's try it. Thank you, Miss Linda. This is one of those awesome ideas that I was telling you guys about. See, but there's no really, there's really not much air. It's just, it, I honestly think what it is, is that the paper started to cringle. So, right, just in time for the fun. Okay, let me put you in, Shailene. So yeah, if you guys shared and I didn't get you in, comment below, Shailene. Mainly my newbies probably that don't know what's happening, but I think the rest, I pretty much got a good amount of people in. Um, I think it's pretty much dry. What? There's two Krista MMs because it looks like wallpaper. Okay, I'm going to put Krista MM then because I know I did put Krista M. Yeah, it looks super cool. Um, we'll see how the chalking goes on here since it's not flat. The Mod Podge won't pull up with your transfer. Hmm. No, we're going to fuzz it really good, but it shouldn't because that's why you have to make sure. Stephanie M, I got you. Yes, I ordered this screen. Oh, awesome. Maybe next time you put Mod Podge on the back of the paper. So we did put Mod Podge on the back. Right? Yeah. Michelle G. But I also put it on the top because the one on the back didn't seem to be enough. So you want to make sure. Yes, Anne, I did get you. You want to make sure that it is dry before you start chalking because... Oh, I'm so sorry, Lisa, because the design will, or the, you will pull up Mod Podge, but for the most part, it's pretty dry, except for the edges. So, should we do it? Should we do it now? So, this is what we're going to put on here. I think it needs to be fairly dark. We can use the borders, or we can leave the borders out. But, I would say this needs to be black. This is what we're gonna put on top of it. Then sings my soul. Thank you, Miss Teresa. And see, there's not a lot of air. I think it's just the paper really crinkled. But I don't wanna make it, I think it looks, oh, I love it, I love it. All right, so let's take it off. I would say we either do like a super bright color, maybe like a teal or a purple or a black, but it has to be something that is gonna stand out because we've got our vintage brownie color. No borders? Okay, yeah, we can just do then sings to my soul because we've got black or dark brown. I would say it'd have to be black. The dark brown I think is gonna be too washy. Okay, borders out, cool. Let's do it then. Let me get my black paste. I know, I'm so excited. Can you reuse the stencils more than once? Yes, Miss Jody. these are reusable silk screen transfers. So the difference is they're sticky, they are reusable up to 10 to 12 times at least, okay? Um, at least. And then they have a screen in between them. The mid, the mid of the crinkled. Oh, okay, got you yellow you think i don't know i feel like i feel like it might get lost in all the orange yellow colors okay so this is this is the first time use so it's brand new 
um, there's a screen in there. I don't know if you can tell, but that's what makes it different than your regular stencils. It kind of regulates how you, how much paste you get in there, how much ink you get in there. So you have the perfect finish every time. Aubergine. I don't have aubergine, my friend. I don't have anything that you can't buy. But aubergine was a great color. Have a deep dark brown. I mean, the only other thing I have is regal, which is a purple. But I want to keep it vintage. -y. Plus, if you've got this in your house, right, it's most likely going to be neutral. Or maybe that's just me. So the borders are not super close, guys. I can, hey, Cindy, how did your life go? I can work around it. But if you're not comfortable and you think that you may go in there, at any time, you can just tape these. Just tape, um, like a little painter's tape. Put it right here. So just in case you um, put it on there, you, you're fine. Um, so I'm going to say we do do this things, right? These two lines right here, my, yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is fuzzing it a dark red. I'm fuzzing it just to make sure that it doesn't pull up any of our Mod Podge. Mod Podge is such a weird word. Like where did they get that from? That's okay, Teresa. I meant to message you and then I don't know what happened. I did a little training before this. And then I do a phone call and now I'm here. But don't worry, girlfriend. It's no biggie. All right. So see how you pick up some of this fuzz? You want to make sure you're careful with that. Sometimes it could be your hair. Sometimes it could be like who knows what. Just be mindful of that. Okay. I'm going to take it off now. I think that's pretty good. Don't have to use two fuzzing cloths. You can use just a regular towel. super sticky okay so you guys see that it likes the Mod Podge yes it does okay I'm gonna wax it just in case guys whenever it sticks like that we do have current jam guys red black or yellow would look really good okay since we're still since I have to wax it and all that good stuff I'm gonna show you one more color we can do this one or black now this one looks lighter than it really is so let me show you that gorgeous current jam color so we can do that or black you guys let me know don't give me any more colors just kidding i'm gonna wax it because you could tell right away that this transfer wants to stick to to this and i don't want it to pull anything up or anything like that since they're reusable guys the first use is always going to be like super crazy so don't stick it to like metal or anything like that because it will, it will stick. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of wax, just like how you do on wood. No big deal. Just adding some wax. Purple, black. Yeah, I use that. Okay, so black or the jam color. Black. I know the jam's nice, but black. Okay, cool. So we're gonna stick to black then. I know her, <laughs> the jam color is really beautiful. All right, so that wax is just going to provide a little barrier so that um, it doesn't stick like crazy. And it still might stick like crazy. So I'm gonna try to center it as best as I can. Um, we said no borders, right? So should we do those little dots? In I mean, these little lines, what do you guys think? Because I feel like that's a border too. Make sure that you have it down really well. Obviously guys, um, since we put like a ton of Mod Podge and it's kind of bumpy, it's going, the material is going to conform, um, to all your little bumps. So if it's, um, if you're doing something that's round, it's going to conform to it. Like it, it's, it's going to stick to it, whichever, whichever way it can go. So you just have to make sure that you put it on there good. See like this one, there's a big bump in here. Let me add something to the bottom. Just words. Okay. What did you use to put, what did you use? Oh, Jade, I use a cheesecloth. Some of it has the dark wax and then this part has the regular wax. Just words. Okay, got it. So I just put something underneath it so that you can apply a little bit more pressure. You want to be able to apply pressure. 
I don't know how this is going to come out with the bumps, but I think it'll still come out pretty good and you'll still get that vintage look for it. Okay, so we're going to do black. Where's my black? Do lines, but not outside lines. Yeah? Just words. Words. Okay. So my black is a little thick. If you guys are new, this Chalkology paste is um, water-soluble paste. It is water-based. Does not have any harsh chemicals. All you have to do is add water and re-wet it. Um, I mean, really, it's as simple as that. It's amazing. You can put it on anything. It's going to dry hard. You can either choose to seal it or you can... Um, or you can wash it off later, like if you're using a reusable surface. Just words. All right, so let me, it's it's kind of thick. This might need to be nuked too. Hold on, okay. Give me a quick second. Just words, all right, got it guys. Babe, can you put this in the microwave real quick? 10 seconds. Okay, so like I said, no harsh chemicals, also the music notes. Yes, so I'm going to do the notes, um, but nothing else. So no harsh chemicals, my husband is going to put it in the microwave, guys, because it's a little hard. Um, normally, you won't, it won't get that hard, so it's not a big deal. But if you guys did not get your name in, comment below so I can add you in. So he's literally just going to put it in the microwave for 10 seconds, and then when he comes back, it's going to be nice and smooth. It's the same thing that we had to do with our jam paste yesterday. It's not like there, it's okay. Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> no, girl, we do not need to add anything else um, to my room. I like the smell of paste and ink. Yeah, it's not bad, right? Um, I have a super sensitive nose. Thank you. I have a super, super duper sensitive nose. Like legit, my husband has to go spray his whatever it is. Um, like cologne or whatever is somewhere else because I get a massive headache instantly so okay so it's smoother now I just need to mix it together but no I do not need I don't even have enough room for what I have in here all right so let me put this in let me put you guys in because I already have you guys commenting cella cella m But um, it doesn't smell bad. It really doesn't. I'm super sensitive to smell. So when I first started, um, I was really hesitant because I didn't want it to smell. I didn't like. I didn't want to be sensitive. That I'm super sensitive, guys. Like, just in general. Jeep. Ooh. Jeep Nation. You will in your next house, girl. We've been looking at houses, guys. Oh my God. It's so. It's so, um, like it's fun, but it's also very, uh, frustrating, you know, cause like you can get a brand new decked out badass house, super modern, oh crap, super modern, all that good stuff. But like you get a tiny little backyard, no pool, nothing, or you can get an old outdated house for way less with a pool and a decked out backyard. And it's like, what? Like, which one do I really want? Crystal V shared. I think you got me, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Jordan. So let's put you in. Jordan T. All right, guys. I wanted to give my paste some time to like soak in. Still need some more water. It's no big deal. Um, I have had people ask like, is there ever a time where you water down your paste so much? That's awesome. I think I'm going to have to have like a little house in the backyard to where you lose the pigmentation and the color. And no, I have not had that happen, okay? Um, I really haven't. I honestly, if I've had a problem with my paste, I probably would tell you guys, obviously, because I don't, because I tell you guys everything. Make sure you have a basement. You know what? They don't make basements here in Texas. Wait, in my city in Texas. They don't make basements. They don't. They make attics, I think, but nobody uses those. So I live in the farthest, farthest west city of Texas. So like nothing happens here. It's just a desert. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Yes, a she shed possibly. Okay, so I think that's good. We have a couple of clumps, but I'm not worried about it. You guys know that clumps aren't a big deal. Once you have time to work out your paste a little bit more, 
go with the backyard exactly Jordan that's how I'm starting to feel more towards that attic is nice too but it's not even an attic that you can really do anything it's an attic where you can pull down and throw boxes in there and that's it like the houses are very different here but yeah that's really what we're going for our soil isn't appropriate for it yeah and I guess they have um Saying City Life has replaced me for date night. Just glad to see the sparkle back in her eye. Oh, my husband says the same thing. Don't worry. He's like, oh, you're always live. And then today's like, girl, go do a live. And I'm like, geez, like that's so misleading. Like one day you want me to, and one day you don't. Okay, so we're going to get started now after all my talking. I'm just going to do a little bit of pace. I don't want to go too heavy on the pace, guys, just because it's a little rough. So I want to be careful. Obviously, we don't want it to bleed. That's why you got to make sure that it is, especially because it's all bumpy. Well, my husband and I don't have date nights anymore, Jim. So welcome to welcome to the welcome to the chalk tour world because that's what happens. Just want to be careful little bit of pace and you kind of scrape it along <laughs> you're gonna make her mad no my husband is super grateful for the opportunity he like knows everybody um he'll be like oh yeah that person and he I mean he he loves that it made me happy um it was hard for me to transition to being a stay-at-home mom and this is really what I think probably saved everything in so many ways. Ooh, I gotta make sure that there was a little bump there. So you wanna make sure that it's good. I know he's just picking on you though. All sad in his room by himself. All right, I'm gonna pull up the then because it's probably drying, but I just wanna work a little slowly. And you guys, if you've never seen this before, it is so easy to do this. Like, so easy. You usually don't have to, like, do it so slow. Oh. But since... Oh, it's so pretty. But since it's a rough surface, I want to make sure that I'm careful with it. See how it's kind of going with the bumps? You can always clean it up a little bit. Did you see? Oh my goodness. Did you see why I should go on a trip? I know. I know, girl. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to clean up some of these lines just because it's right where the bump is. And just like that. It's so easy, guys. You can do it while it's wet or you can do it after. I'm going to get a new one just in case. because I forgot to put down that little bubble right there. So pretty. There's like a huge bump right there. All right, I think that looks good. So let's let it dry real quick and then I'll put the letters on. Normally, if this was like a flat surface, you could just go to town and have it done in like a second. Legit. But the transfer is always going to bend and mold with your surface. So if you have rough textures, it's going to try to go along with your rough textures. Okay, so let's put this back up. Make sure we have it on there good. All right. Can't live with them, can't live without them, right? I miss my husband when he's at work and then he comes home and I'm like, oh, okay, just kidding. <laughs> I love my husband. All right, now I'm just getting some more paste on here, okay, guys? And you really don't need a lot. So you really just scrape it along. I almost got the lines in there. bump right there 
You can also use your squeegee to kind of fill those blunts in. You keep freezing on my end, so I will watch the replay. Uh-oh. I hope nobody else is having problems. Yeah, if I'm freezing, just get out and come back in and see how that works. I will see my husband in 20 days. He will finally be home. Is he? Okay, cool. Where is he? Is he? What is he? Ooh, it's so pretty. I love the sound, like when it's coming off. So pretty. Okay, so the paste does take just a little bit to dry. So I'm just leaving it up for just a little bit. And if you wonder why I'm peeling it back, it's because of the screen. Since it's not your traditional stencil, you do have to work with it a little different because the paste dries so fast that you want to peel it up before it dries on the screen. Okay, cool, I'm glad that we're okay. It might just be sometimes, you know, we're all glitchy and the internet's all weird. So it dries super fast. I just wanna be able to lay this back. My hands are hot mess too. But I am so, so, so loving the way it comes out. I wish I could do it faster for you guys, but. All right, so now we're gonna work on this side and you wanna make sure that all of this is good. This is super texturized, but I do kinda like it. I like it. All right. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If I don't see them, I will answer them after or somebody will answer for you i know it looks awesome right so this will probably be one of our first pieces that we auction off for the lots of love stuff so i've got to start doing that my goal is 250 donations 250 dollars in donations every month I don't know what they're playing, but they're having fun. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can go a little bit faster because this has been like the longest thing ever. I live in a house in Illinois. My girl's gonna move back last year in June. Oh, that's rough. So he's finally moving with you guys. That's so hard. I don't know how you guys do it. I really don't. <laughs> At least you have some crafting to keep you busy, I guess. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I would do. It's so hard. All right. I just wanna be careful so I get those good, crisp lines. He retires June 8th. Awesome. All right, so there's our S. See how the little bumps kind of made it configure a little way? Configure, is that a word? Now I'm just gonna clean it up. And you can either do it with just a, yeah, I could never do that either, it's so hard. Um, you could clean it up with just a Q-tip or you can even put a like a wet wipe around your Q-tip like this and use that moisture to clean it up. Actually, let's do that. But it's still wet, so really you don't need to do that. But it cleans up so nicely. Well, it usually does. Yeah, we're a military city, so there's a ton of military wives that I meet. And I went to, we had like a, a workshop there. We did a little baby shower event where the girls, the girls made um, stuff for the mom. And I was hearing some of their stories and I was like, there's no way that I could do that. There is no way. Somehow I got teal in the wording. But.
that texture is really getting there. Mm. Okay, cool. That looks better. It should be good. You don't have to leave it up completely. You just want to make sure that it dries a little bit. And then you don't even put it all the way down on that part again. You just move on to the next part. Okay. I'm making like a huge mess. Okay. All right, let's do that. All right, I'm going to keep going because I think we might be able to finish most of this. And clean up whatever's left. And you can see wherever the screen lifts, so just keep an eye on that. And like I said, if you're using this on a flat surface, it's no big deal. You wouldn't have to worry about that. But since this is like super bumpy it's a little rougher to use than normal this was probably by far my long longest live in a long time guys you know how I've been finishing super fast and I'm like, all right guys, bye. <laughs> I was just waiting for this really long one to do for you guys. Okay, we're done, let's take it. Take it off, take it off. They are, you guys can hear them. Yeah, they always have so much fun together. And we're just gonna clean up whatever lines that we need to clean up. Okay, I'm gonna put this away because I'm gonna clean it later, which is probably tomorrow. But you wanna make sure that you don't get it stuck to itself. All right, so we just need to clean up a few spots, but otherwise I think it looks so awesome. So it bled a little bit in these areas just because there's like a ton of bumps right there, which is no big deal. You can leave it and make it look vintagey, or you can just clean it up. <laughs> what happened? Late to this, but love this site. Can you tell me what you made your stencil with and what place it was? Jordan, these are reusable silk screens, so they are already pre-cut. Um, you can mix and match them to make like a certain designs. They have different fonts, all that good stuff, but they are pre-cut stencils. And they have a silk screen on them and they are reusable. I gotta fix that my, but that looks a little bit better. It looks super vintagey there. How long can you keep it like that, meaning the paste on the stencil? Um, Honestly, I have kept it for months. There have been times that I just store them away and I forget. And um, I just get it, like I'll go and I'll clean it whenever I need it. So I have left it for months at a time. I try not to do it just in case. If it's ink, you have to, you have to clean it right away. And if it's shimmer paste, you really should too. I normally don't have a lot of cleanup, guys. So I'm a little like... I'm a little shocked here. This would look so good. Oh, that's such a good idea. Did they make them this big though? Because this is an 18 by 18. Yes, girl. So, okay, guys, you guys know that I will offer a deal for this transfer. Um, I didn't realize that it was out of stock, which is a bummer, but it should be back in stock soon. I can actually check 
and I will let you guys know. And of course, when it comes back in stock, I will offer a deal for it. All you guys have to do is make sure that you are in my VIP group. I actually just posted a deal yesterday on some smaller transfers so you guys can shop until you drop. So super cute. We can clean it up a little bit, but I love it. How about inks? No, so inks you want to, but I love it guys, it looks so awesome. We're gonna let it dry, maybe clean it up in a few spots, but I really, really, really love it, it's awesome. The idea that I was looking for really came together, super cool. So I hope you guys learned something new. Um, let me tell you a little bit about what I've got going on for you guys in the upcoming days. So you have something to look forward to maybe. I'm going to put this back on here. Like Chella's asking, I don't always wash them right away. Okay. Um, see how it's still super sticky. Do you seal it once the paint is dry? Yes. So you can seal it, but sometimes you don't have to. So if you're selling it, please seal it because you don't know what they're going to do with it. But in other cases, the paste dries super hard. Let me show you. So this is paste on wood. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, it's an 18 by 18. The actual wording I would say is about 16 by 16 though. So the paste does dry and you don't have to worry about anything like that. But if you're going to sell it, you don't know where they're going to take it. You, you know it may get into like the elements or whatever, then you do want to seal it. And you can seal it just like how I did with the Mod Podge that does seal the paste in. But if you notice, it was so wet. So it's going to re-wet your paste and we don't want that. So it would have to be very light Mod Podge or just any type of poly spray. Poly spray works too. All right guys, so I did these mason jars. I painted them pink. I'm going to paint them one more and I have to give credit to my wonderful designer who gave me this idea. Um, I'm going to do another coat of pink. These will be green. I'm going to punch a hole in them, put polka dots, and they are gonna be super cute little summer drinks. We're gonna make them look like watermelons. So that'll be next. And then our repurposed wood sign. Okay guys, so if you didn't get in on the share giveaway, all you have to do is share the video. What is the paste? The paste is Chalkology paste. So if you guys want to check it out, if you just want to shop, you can comment shop and you will get my link. You can look around and if you have any questions, just respond to that message and I will, um, I know I am going to post a special on paste, don't worry. And I will message you and help you get everything you need. If you just want to shop deals, then you can comment VIP and you can get into my VIP group and shop all the deals. If you want to know how to become a designer, do what I'm doing, make money in crafting, buy everything 40% off, then you just comment info. And we will have an opportunity call. My team and I are having an opportunity call this Saturday. But it is in a different group. It will not be streamed live on my, on my page. Okay, so my hands are kind of clean. But if you shared and didn't get your name in, please let me know so I can add it before we do the giveaway. Because we're going to pick our names now. Yay, thank you, Patricia. Yes, make sure to like, guys. Just tap the video. You should be able to easily like and follow the page. I try to go live pretty often. Patricia Ann, do you have any pay specials? No, so that is coming. Um, I just didn't want to, like, overwhelm you guys with all these deals I'm posting. But it is coming. It will be... I'll just post it tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I realized I buy stencils and I'll have... What? VIP group. Can I get that stencil in your group? Michelle, you can get it. Um, unfortunately, it's out of stock, but how it works is usually everything that I use, I'll immediately go into my VIP group. I shouldn't say immediately. I'll go into my group and I will post a deal for you guys so that you can DIY. This one happened to be out of stock. So yes, go into my VIP group. When it is back in stock, I will post that deal and let you guys know it's back in stock. Let's get it. Michelle K. K. And I got you, Miss Teresa. So I always try to um, give you guys good deals on all my stuff. Of course, if you want to just shop on your own and do your own crafting at home, and <laughs> thanks, Monica, but you can't get in on this. No designers, please, guys. Y'all are my peeps, but you guys get the best stuff. I have to go wash my hands. 
and then just put my amazing lotion on. All right, so if we got everybody in, I'm going to do it. When you comment VIP, you should actually get a link to my group in your messenger and you can just um, request there. All right, we're ready? Are we ready? I wanted to give everybody a chance because there is a slight delay. Okay, I won't worry about you. Oh, I think I got you, Lori. I think. Did I? I don't know. Lori J. Okay, so I'm going to pick four winners. Just an FYI, guys, I just had more giveaways go out today, but I ran out. So I know they're in transit. They're on their way. Um, it's just that shipping is taking forever. <laughs> um, so yeah, they will go out. You will get everything that you, you will get all your little goodies. This might take a little bit longer. All right. So if I call your name and you're here, please let me know. D R D R. You're just bored. Isn't there like so much stuff to do? Patty D. I think that's Patricia D. So I want to make sure that I got newbies. So I'm going to keep picking. Angela S. If you guys are here, please let me know. Shirley H. I think that's her name. Yay, D is here. D. Glenda R. Yeah, I think it is you. I don't know why I wrote you like that, though. I guess because that's what I call all of my patties in my life. Patricia's in my life. I call them patties. All right, so um, D. Angela's here. Schultz. Patty B or D? It's Patty D. It is a D right there. Patty D. So Glenda R or Shirley H. Oh, that's where I go out to as soon as when they're like, Mom, 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 Mom. This is my quiet time, guys. I should just stay in here and they think I'm live this whole time. Okay, I don't think these ladies are here, so I'm going to pick one more name. I tried to give them a little bit of time. Dawn F. Dawn F. <laughs> sorry, Patty. Sorry, sorry. You guys know I still love you, though. Have you found any of the items like the healing board and the one you put between your shirts? Um, yes, I did. I actually meant to invoice you today because I did find them. Yay, Glenda's here. Glenda is here. Glenda. No, girl, because you get something else, Patricia. So I'll send you a message. Glenda Ruff. Or you send me a message and I'll let you know what you get. Um, yes, Patricia, I meant to invoice you today. I'm working on invoices from all my orders today. Maybe next time. That's it, guys. If you just, awesome, Dawn is here too. Okay, yeah, guys, all you have to do is like and follow, hang out in the next couple of lives and share and get into the drawing. You always have a chance to win. And if you don't win today, this bucket actually goes into a bigger drawing where you, we do a drawing at the end of the month. Of course, you have to be in my VIP group for that. So there's always chances to win, of course, and you can always shop. So I've got everybody here. You found an ink mat. Oh, no, <laughs> I didn't find an ink pen. Um, they are still out of stock um, because shipping is taking forever. But I had an extra one that she had requested. So yeah, why are you missing one? Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one. I will see you later. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys later. Bye.